Hello, this is Gully Gopharm and thank you very much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be talking about ways that a diet can help support a healthy hormonal balance and why certain nutrients will help you do so. Many of us deal with hormonal imbalances due to poor nutrition, stress, lack of sleep or other poor lifestyle choices or even things that have nothing to do or have, are not under our own control. So hormonal balance has a critical effect on our well-being as it influences our overall health condition and can lead to many, many disturbing uh, problems such as infertility, depression, loss of memory and focus, as well as chronic fatigue, which is a very difficult situation, and loss of muscle strength. So there is no one size fits all as a formula or recommendation for a diet that promotes healthy hormonal balance because everybody is at a different situation in their life and everyone has a different attitude towards life, which has a significant impact on hormonal release. Stressors are different for everyone depending on our mindset. But there are foods that can help balance and regulate our hormones and these can help reduce irritability, anxiety, depression, mood swings, reduce tiredness and increase energy levels and mental clarity. So here they are. The first one is healthy fats. Healthy fats that contain omega-3 fatty acids supply the necessary building blocks for hormone production and function. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential for stabilizing output of adrenaline and cortisol, uh, the stress hormones, because omega-3 fatty acids help prevent adrenal deficiency and fatigue. Supplementation with omega-3 fatty acids inhibits the adrenal activation elicited by mental stress. Sufficient omega-3 fatty acids also help prevent postmenopausal depression, and studies show that omega-3 fatty acids are also very useful in fighting inflammation. Now, omega-3 fats are found in chia seeds, Brussels sprouts, algae, hemp seeds, flax seeds, walnuts, and perilla oil. Healthy fats are also great for the production of cholesterol, which then gets converted into testosterone, progesterone, and estrogen, the sex hormones, and for proper cell function. Healthy fats are also found in avocados, nuts, coconuts, and olives, basically plant-based fats. So aim to get 15 to 30 grams of healthy fats per day. Now the next foods are adaptogens. They work to balance out the hormones of the adrenal system and help mitigate the stress response. They also help support the thyroid function and stabilize insulin and blood sugar levels. Adaptogenic compounds are found in foods and in herbs that promote hormonal health. Definitely you want to be taking these. Some of them include rosemary, holy basil, ashwagandha, astragalus, ginseng, and rhodiola. These can be found in spice or powder form, like teas, different teas. So definitely add them to your diet. Now the next food is lignans. These are phytoestrogens found in many plant-based foods. The lignans from foods are converted by the gut bacteria into specific metabolites. And these metabolites produce a slight estrogenic effect. When estrogen levels are too low or too high, Lignans balance the activity of the body as natural estrogen by attaching to the estrogen receptors. And this helps to improve some estrogen-induced conditions like osteoporosis, menopausal and menstrual symptoms, as well as reducing the risk for certain types of hormonal cancers. Foods like sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, legumes, whole grains, fruits and vegetables, and flax seeds contain lignans, with flax seeds containing the most uh, lignans from any dietary source. Definitely a food to add to your diet. Now the next food is fiber. Fiber helps stabilize the insulin response, which further contributes to balancing uh, cortisol levels. If your cortisol levels are frequently high from a constant state of stress, it will lead to estrogen dominance. And estrogen dominance leads to weight gain, decreased sex drive, abnormal menstruation, breast pain, or swelling of the breasts, headaches, especially premenstrually, and mood swings like irritability and depression. With enough fiber, you will reduce progesterone levels and help uh, the body eliminate some of the excess estrogen. Make sure you're eating enough legumes, beans, and green vegetables and whole grains for your daily dose of fiber, as well as fruits, very rich in fiber. Now the next foods are pro and prebiotics. 
Many hormones are metabolized and processed and excreted from the body through the gut microbiome. And fermented foods like sauerkraut, kefir, kimchi, kombucha, uh, bring essential probiotics to the digestive system, supporting the friendly bacteria. Probiotic-rich foods like onions, chicory root, uh, Jerusalem artichokes and onions are also vitally important because the good bacteria need them as food sources to help them thrive and do their job in the best possible way. I also recommend taking supplements to support hormonal balance. You can't base your diet on supplements, but you can rely on them for support. The majority of nutrients should be taken from whole foods, whole plant-based foods especially, but it's not possible sometimes to get all of the nutrients we need on our, in our diet. At particular times, such as uh, times during excessive stress, high athletic activity, disease, pregnancy, lactation, or menstruation, I would consider taking some supplements, including uh, B vitamins, the B complex, uh, B12, iron, especially during uh, menstruation for females, not for males, and omega-3 fatty acid supplements. Your hormones rely on these, and even on our regular diet, it may be difficult to get sufficient levels of these nutrients. Also listen again to the adaptogenic herbs, herbs that I just spoke about previously uh, for ideas of other supplements worth taking. I also recommend avoiding caffeine and alcohol. Studies suggest that excessive intake of caffeine and alcohol may contribute to hormonal imbalance in both the short and long term. So to conclude, hormonal balance is a road best avoided. Hormones have a crucial role in maintaining all of the body's vital functions. And if you follow these tips and include these nutrients and, and avoid these other foods that I recommend, um, you will definitely have healthy glandular function. So I wish you health and happiness. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the content. Also sub subscribe to my channel. And if you are interested in more nutrition and health information, visit the website, thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much for joining me.